Now since the minimum element is 4, what I am going to do is, I am going to follow some rules to remove the dependency and I am going to produce a new table. So I know this lining process is a little complicated, you can pause, you can post your uh, uh, questions and comments, I will answer all of them and uh, uh, wherever you have a question you can ask me, you can, I uh, will also leave my email in the comment box, if you have anything you can just write me an email on it. So let's see the new table, let me set some rules. So there are three types of elements in this particular table. Some elements are on line, like 49 is on line, 0 is on line, this 0 is on line. Some are on cross sections. So if this you look into this 3, this is on cross section. 0 is on cross section, this 15 is on cross section, 47 is on cross section, this 0 is on cross section. And some elements are not either, neither on uh, cross section nor on line. These are called left out elements. So I select minimum of the left out. And I set some rules. What are these rules? Find the minimum of the left out elements, which I have already decided. I have already found that out of left out elements, the minimum is 4. Then it says subtract it from the left out elements. So whatever left out elements are, that means 29 in new table will appear as 25. 4 will be subtracted. 5 minus 4 is 1. 10 minus 4 is 6. Then it says add it to the elements on cross section. That means this 0, if it is on cross section, it will be added with 4. And uh, 13 is on cross section, 4 will be added. And then it says elements on the line remain as they were. That means 49 is on line, it's not on cross section. So it will remain as it is in the, in the new table. So let me follow this rule and let me write first row. So if you look into the 0, 0 is on cross section. So the minimum element which was 4 need of the left out elements needed to be added to the elements of the cross section. So 0 is on cross section, I add 4 to it. 13 is on cross section, I add 4 to it. Then 49 is as it is. So elements on line remain as it is. So 49 will remain as it is, as it is in the previous table. 0 is on line, it's not on cross section, so it will remain as it is. This 0 is also on line, so it is going to remain as it is. But this 3, 13 is on cross section, so 4 will be added to it, so it will become 17. Now I am going to go to row number 2 carefully. So look into row number 2, 0 is on line, so remains as it is. 35 is on line, remains as it is. 29 is left out, so 4 is to be subtracted from the left out, so 29 minus 4 that makes it 25. 5 is a left out element neither on line nor on cross section 5 minus 4 is 1. 10 is a left out element neither on line nor on cross section 10 minus 4 becomes 6. 0 is on line so it remains 0 so elements on line remain as it is. Now let's see the third row. Uh, let me make a suitable arrangement once again so I have to fold the paper every now and then get this space going. So look at the third row. 13 is on line. So it remains as it is. 0 is also on line. It remains as it is. 63 is a left out element. So it has to be, answer is subtracted from. So it is 4 must be subtracted from it. So 59. 7 minus 4, 3. Again 7 is neither on line or nor on cross section. So 7 minus 4 is 3. This 0 is on the line, so it remains as it is. Let's see the next particular row now, the fourth row. 47 is falling at a cross section, so 4 should be added. Correct answer is it should be added. 15 is again on cross section, so 4 should be added. 19. 0 is falling on the line, so it remains as it is. 20 is again on the line, remains as it is, 2 is also on the line, remains as it is, this 0 is on cross section, so 4 should be added. Let's look into the fifth one. 25 is on the line, falling on the line as it is, 0 is on the line as it is, 46 left out, neither on line nor on cross section, 4 should be subtracted. 9 minus 4 because it is a left out. 5. 4 minus 4. 0. It was also the minimum element. 2 on the line as it is. The last part. Last row. So again 
and let me put it here now okay that's suitable so zero on the line as it is 53 on the line as it is 50 minus 4 that becomes 46 26 minus 4 becomes 22 4 minus 4 becomes 0 20 on the line remains as it is now this is my new table in which I will restart making the assignments so let's search for the row having exactly one zero so if I look into the first row no two zeros two zeros two zeros oh I found one row with one zero so I'll make an assignment on it carefully. If there is any corresponding zero in the column, I'll cross it. No, there is nothing. Again, get back to step one, start searching for row, having one zero, no, two zeros, two zeros, two zeros, two zeros, two zeros. No, I don't have it. Start searching for the column having exactly one zero. This column has two, this column has two, already assigned, one zero, I found it. So I will assign one, and cross any corresponding zero in the row which is here get back to step one every time you cross a step get back to one start searching for the row having exactly one zero no two 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 let's search for the column having one zero two 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 so i don't have step three start searching for the row having exactly two zeros oops second row exactly has two zeros so assign i assign one and cross any corresponding zero in the row and in the column get back to step one start searching for the row one zero no column with one zero yes i found it here now there is one zero left out assign so i'll assign the corresponding zero and cross any zero in the row again step one row with one zero yes 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 going going yes i found it i got it Oh, I am sorry, I just missed it because in first step also there was row with one zero. So I assign it and make a corresponding cross in the zero. Again, search for the row having exactly one zero. I immediately find this and that's it. So look at the number of assignment. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay. The degeneracy is removed. And how the assignment is done? Job one goes to person number four right here. Can you put a little asterisk here? So job one goes to person number four job two goes to person number one job three goes to person number six job four goes to man three job five goes to man two job six goes to man five and the problem is solved now if i want to know what is the transportation cost so i need to get back into my first table what is the transportation cost Look at this, job 1 went for person 4, job 2 went for person 1, job 3 went for person 6, man 6 in fact, and if I look into job 4, job 4 it went to man 3, and if I look into job 5 it goes to man 2, and if I look to job 6 it goes to man 5 so what is the assignment cost now so if i look into want to calculate the assignment cost here so assignment cost is going to be the assignment cost is going to be 11 plus 43 plus 33 plus 27 plus 11 plus 17 so that is assignment cost so how much it is going to be 7 8 15 18 21 22 3 4 6 and 3 9 and 4 uh, 13 and 1 14 so rupees 142 is the assignment cost it's a long video thank you very much